spiritually. I'm talking spiritually to scientifically. I mean literally. The in our DNA, they're alive in the things that we do and say. Less than they taught and examples they gave. Last night when they are buried in their grave. So I try to the impulse to dream was slowly beaten out of me by experience. Now it surged up again, and I hungered for books, new ways of looking and seeing. Richard Wright. The art of storytelling and its healing power. The twists and turns of real life can be random. The objective is to stay positive as you wait for your great moment to happen. But what do you do if real life experience is beating the impulse to dream out of you? That is a scenario Richard Wright found himself in. He couldn't find inspiration from his own story, so he found inspiration in the stories of others. That's why he hungered for books and new ways of looking and seeing. They gave him insight into possibilities he was not currently experiencing. That is why he must. we must tell our stories, both fiction and non. We need to imagine the future we want and tell the stories of those who make it happen. That way we can inspire those who are having their own dreams beaten out of them. Thank you for this, Richard Wright. Let's pour a libation for Richard Wright. We never forget, so never fear. For homies who ain't here, we pouring out a beer. Because of you, it'll never be the same. We keep saying your name while we pour champagne. For the mothers and the father figures, your flames still flickers, we pouring out some liquor. Where the sons and the daughters of heroes and martyrs honor you by pouring out some water. Friends, today's libation is for the one and only Mr. 